On Thursday, a lawmaker has informed Defense News that the military and manufacturers of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter have identified a potential remedy for their engine issues which had caused them to halt deliveries of their planes for almost two months. Rep. Rob Whitman of Virginia mentioned that a solution to the F-35 delivery issue is expected to become available by the end of this month, resuming its distribution. He also leads the House Armed Services Committee's Tactical Air and Land Forces panel. Congress member Rob Whitman revealed that engineers had discovered vibration issues in F-135 engines as the cause of why acceptance flights and subsequent deliveries of the F-35 were stopped. He made this statement during a conversation held in his Capitol Hill office. Fortunately, the Air Force and Lockheed Martin have done their research to identify potential issues with the F-35 and have taken measures to provide an appropriate solution. They gathered the necessary data to ensure they could come up with a suitable remedy, said Whitman, noting he was briefed on the issue Wednesday by F-35 Program Executive Officer Lt. Gen. Michael Schmidt. Fortunately, the Air Force and Lockheed Martin have done their research to identify potential issues with the F-35 and have taken measures to provide an appropriate solution. They gathered the necessary data to ensure they could come up with a suitable remedy. Later, Whitman's office sought to clarify that he was referring to engine manufacturer Pratt and Whitney as the contractor who conducted due diligence. Whitman mentioned that the fix for the issue should come soon. When asked if this meant by the end of February, he confirmed that it was his understanding. Pratt & Whitney has released a statement to Defense News, announcing their commitment to supplying the F-135 engines to Lockheed Martin by the end of this month. The firm is working on an instant fix to enable them to resume deliveries in time. After a close examination, Jen Lotka, vice president of the F-135 program for Pratt & Whitney declared that there were no quality concerns with the broken fuel tube. Apparently, this is a rare mechanical phenomenon connected to harmonic resonance. We have found a short-term solution which allows our aircraft to fly safely, and there is a possibility of F-135 engine deliveries being resumed before the end of this month. When contacted for feedback, the F-35 Joint Program Office and Lockheed Martin both referred Defense News to the statement from Pratt & Whitney. However, it is uncertain when acceptance flights will begin again and Pratt & Whitney didn't share the details of their solved issue. On December 15, a F-35B from the Lockheed facility in Fort Worth, Texas faced a mishap and since then Lockheed has suspended all subsequent incoming fighter flight acceptances. All newly manufactured aircrafts have to go through acceptance flights before they are delivered to the government. Recently, such tests had been put on a pause, thereby leading to a halt in deliveries. Ever since then, Lockheed has been manufacturing and stocking F-35s in Fort Worth, which is their main factory. Video of the December 15 mishap showed the fighter hovering near the ground before descending, bouncing, tipping forward until its nose and a wing touched the ground, and starting to spin around. Its Air Force pilot, who was performing a quality check for the Defense Contract Management Agency, then safely ejected. According to a source who has knowledge of the program, an assessment conducted in December revealed that a fuel tube in the engine of the F-35B experienced compression failure. In response, the Joint Program Office JPO, updated its safety assessments accordingly. On December 27, the Joint Strike Fighter Program Office JPO, Defense Contract Management Agency DCMA, and Pratt & Whitney jointly decided to stop delivering F-135 engines for a short period of time in order to investigate a mishap that had occurred. Whitman confirmed that an issue had occurred with the high-pressure fuel delivery system. According to Whitman, the issue of dealing with engine vibrations is complicated and needs multiple approaches. He referred to the engine as a very confined, dynamic environment but didn't give specifics about how their solution works. Although finding a solution is the initial step, Whitman pointed out contractors have had to create a specialized production system for ensuring that the F-35s built since mid-December are properly fixed and installed. This process necessitates dedicated time, resources, and expertise from the contractors involved. The contractor has recently manufactured 17 F-35 aircrafts and is now ready for the acceptance flight process. Whitman stated that in order to introduce this solution, it must be integrated into the production line of new fighters. 
General Miller spoke about the capabilities of Air Force and Lockheed Martin, saying that they have the necessary technology available. However, he went on to discuss how they need to implement those solutions into the planes that are already in production or assembly. Time is of the essence when it comes to rectifying the issue and maintaining the F-35 manufacturing process. Despite a December stop in engine deliveries, Lockheed has continued producing F-35s with existing F-135 engines. According to Whitman, Lockheed has a limited number of engines in reserve for the manufacture of fighter jets. According to him, there is only a limited number of engines available, and if this continues, it could eventually lead to a shortage and affect the production process. According to Whitman, all stakeholders in the F-35 project are considering variables such as current engine availability while trying to address the issue. Please check my other videos and links above. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider a like and subscribe.